Hey guys, how's it hanging? Charlie here and surprisingly nobody else. Welcome to my first solo series. Yeah, I always love TCG, especially Pokemon TCG, so I decided to run this series alone. Mainly because sometimes Simba can't actually record with me and stuff like that. So I better just do something of my own. So let's get right into it. Okay, we're gonna be called, of course, Charlie. Even why? Because <laughs> our name just doesn't fit here. Okay, Charlie is crazy about Pokemon and Pokemon card collecting. One day, Charlie heard a rumor. The legendary Pokemon cards, the extremely rare and powerful cards held by Pokemon trading card game's greatest players. The Grandmasters are searching for one to inherit the legend. Dreaming of inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards, Charlie visits the Pokemon card researcher, Dr. Mason. Let's head to Mason's laboratory. Oh, why the rush, Charlie? What? You want to learn how to play the Pokemon trading card game? So you too finally want to start playing the card game. They're so redundant in their words, oh my god, man. Okay. Well, dueling is more fun than just collecting cards. First, you should try playing with a practice deck. Here, I'll give you this deck. And now, you need an opponent. Hey, Sam, play with him for a while. Yes, yeah, Sam, come play with me. Yes, Dr. Mason. Hello, Charlie. Okay, let's give it a try. So we're heading to the to the table. <laughs> I don't know what what trading card games tables are called. If you know, please let me know. First, ask Sam the basics of the game. Okay, Charlie, what do you want to ask about? Mm, they're gonna teach us anyway, so I'll just run through it, and we'll hopefully learn a lot more by him saying things for us to do in our first first duo than actually trying to read and remember all the things that he has to say now so they say that actions speak louder than words so let's play a game since this is your first time just try to learn the basic steps i'll be coaching you so follow my advice Oh, that's right, actually it's not Sam that that teaches how to play, it's Dr. Mason. The, he actually forces us to make the, the plays he wants in this first game, so we know how to play it, because it can be a little tricky. So, if you don't do as I say, we won't be able to proceed. Yeah, as I said, he, he's really strict about that. It might be easier if you read the Pokemon trading card game instruction booklet while we play. Okay, okay then, let's start your practice game. Oh, Sam's so cute, he's like one of the Professor Oak's aides. And this battle music's just so much fun. Since this is just practice, do not shuffle the deck. As in the, the normal game in real life. When you, you buy a deck, they, they tell you not to shuffle it, so they can teach you just as Dr. Mason will teach us now. So, choose a basic Pokémon to place in the arena. Draw one card and get ready for the battle. Choose your active Pokémon. You can only choose basic Pokémon as your active Pokémon. So we can choose either Golding or Stereo. For a practice duo, choose Golding. What if I want Stereo? No, choose Golding for this practice duo, okay? <sighs> okay, man. Let's go with Golding. Golding was placed in the arena. You may choose up to 5 basic Pokémon to place on the bench. 
which would be like your Pokeballs that you hold in your belt. <laughs> Next, put your Pokemon on your bench, okay. You can switch bench at Pokemon with your active Pokemon. But there is a retreat cost for it, isn't it? Why aren't you telling me that? <laughs> Again, only basic Pokemon can be placed on your bench. Choose Star You for your hand from your hand and put it in there. Okay. Star You was placed on the bench. When you have no Pokemon to put on your bench, press the B button to finish. Okay. Placing the prizes, my favorite part. Okay, now the coin toss. If hats Charlie plays first, please. Oh yeah. Charlie's turn. You drew water energy energy. To use the attack command, you need to attach energy cards to your Pokemon. Choose cards from the menu and select a Water en Energy card. Next, choose your active Pokemon Golding and press the A button. Okay. Finally, attack your opponent by selecting an attack command. Yeah, so just put the energy, the, the amount you want for the attack. Golding just needs one, I guess, for his attack. Yeah, that's it. But because my chop is... Oh, it's not. Sorry, guys, I would say it was weak to Golding, so it would actually take 20. But I was wrong because I was thinking about, like, rock type. And I don't even think there is rock type in the TCG. Attached fighting energy to match up. Oh, here comes the low kick. Hold on, Golding! Hold on! Okay, my turn. Your Golding is gonna get knocked out. Let's evolve it. Choose Seeking from your hand and attach it to Golding to evolve it. Its HP increases from 14 to 70. 40. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Dr. Mason, your Seeking doesn't have enough energy to use Waterfall. You need to attach a Psychic Energy card to Seeking. This thing means any, any energy card. <laughs> now you can use Waterfall. Keep the Water Energy card for other Pokemon. Yeah, like Staryu that you didn't want me to use. Now let's attack your opponent with Seeking's Waterfall. Let's play the game! Okay, so first evolve, then use the energy. Okay, now we may attack. Waterfall! Oh yeah, it's almost dead, man. All this thinking for the Rattata. Okay. Go on. I can't e eat up like one more of this if I don't have a potion. But I think I do. Sea King's got enough energy, so we don't need to attach anymore. Attach energy cards to your benched Pokemon to get them ready for battle. Attack a water energy card, attach a water energy card to your benched star you. Next, select the attack command. Machop has 10 HP left. It should be easy. Seeking's horn attack will be enough to knock out Machop. <laughs> now choose Seeking's horn attack. Now Machop's HP is zero and it's knocked out. Man, are you like future sighting? When you knock out the defeating, the defending Pokemon, you can pick up a prize. Oh yeah! Now let's play the game. So I don't need to do this right now actually, but I'll do it anyway. And I'll attack. Waterfall! 
<laughs> no chance of leaving, man. 30 damage. Mm. This one. Okay. Always nice to have energies. Sam's turn. Oh. Go on joking. Now it's eradicate. <laughs> and it's... Oh, it's... So ready to bite me in the butt. Okay, my turn. Oh yeah, drowsy. Yeah, if all my Pokemon is knocked out, I lose the game. So I have to put drowsy in the bench to protect me from that. And then attach a water energy to drowsy. Then choose Seeking and attack your opponent with Waterfall. Oh, oh, it's that, it's that, it's that. I didn't know it was right from the hand that I thought it had a, like a bench thingy here option. <laughs> waterfall. I thought he was gonna do... Oh! I didn't have a potion, I didn't check it. Oh my god. Was it a Nuzlocke? I would have just cried. <laughs> okay. Let's choose Staryu? Yeah, Staryu. Glad we agreed on that. Here, press select to check Pokemon data. It is important to know your cards and the status of your Pokemon. Now let's play the game! Oh, now I drew a potion. <laughs> right on time. But no? Let's get Staryu ready to use Starmie's attack command when it evolves to Starmie. Choose the water energy card from your hand and attach it to Staryu. Attack your opponent with Starius Slap. <laughs> Bit Slap. Now let's play the game. Oh, I have a full heal. That's nice. Yeah, I, I didn't need to attach another one, but he said so. Maybe uh, uh, I'm drawing a Starmie next turn. I really hope so. Or else this... Whoa! He treated his Pokemon. Yeah, or else I'm um, totally dropping. I need either to use my potion or a stereo. Oh, stereo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll have to use the potion. Because we picked Golding for... The Pokemon that we just lost. Attack your opponent with Starius Bit Slap to end your turn. Now let's play the game. A potion to make sure nothing happens to my little Staryu. And a Beat Slap. Oh, what did I do wrong? I did that? Oh, that's so true, man. I just didn't attach the goddamn energy. So, as I said, he is really, really strict. Okay, potion, attach. An attack. Oh, I didn't use the potion. I was so sure I did that. Well, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning and I didn't sleep, so... I'm really sorry, guys, if <laughs> I'm doing something wrong. 
Man, oh, because I thought it was adding up, and he, and and I had to just do the thing that I didn't do, the turn that he negated me, and that was the whole problem. I had to reattach the water energy and repotion the stereo. I was just doing the thing that I didn't do. I'm so sorry. Okay. Low kick shouldn't do much. Yeah. Oh yeah, now low kick's not even a problem. So, we have to evolve first and then attack with star freeze. Doesn't seem hard. Okay. Oh, I think we don't need that. Oh, please, paralysis check. Oh, yeah. Paralyzed. Who? Sam has to think a lot now. Whoa, he finished without attacking? I didn't even know you could you could skip that. I played this game like when I was 10 years old, I would say, and then I played it a little throughout like 15 to 17, and then I lost my cartridge or I just landed to Sunny and he never ever gave me back. But that's okay because we're friends and anytime I want it back, he's gonna give me. So, we have to star freeze again. But we could... Oh, that's recover. I thought we had another hitting move that wouldn't hit that hard. As if the paralysis counted. I'm so sorry for you, my chop. But bye bye. And with this, we're winning our first duo. Oh yeah, Sam's a loser. Basically, this is how the Pokemon trading card game is played. It's a game in which you try to knock out as many of your opponent's Pokemon as there are prizes. That's the gist of it. If you don't understand something, talk to Sam, it might be helpful to practice again too. This time was just practice, so I had you follow everything, yeah, I know, I said. But there are other styles of play, so try them out by choosing normal duo. Now then, let's build your deck. Did you bring your cards? Charlie handed his cards to Dr. Mason. Whoa! No, not my cards, man! Mm, let me add some of my own cards to yours. Now, Charlie, what kind of deck do you want? Please, select the deck you want. Okay, that's pretty obvious. I'm going with Charmander and friends, of course. Here are the remaining cards. We received 30 cards, so I guess we had 10 or like 20? I don't know, I don't remember if Pokemon decks are 40 or 50 Pokemon total. Maybe even 60, like magic? Well, <laughs> you should duel with many different people. Why don't you go on of the card clubs? There are many people playing at clubs. Collect new cards and try building a new deck. Okay. Well, actually guys, I'm gonna leave this episode right here because since it was an introduction with steps for us to follow, it was a bit longer than I thought it would be. And that's it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed this new series, if you did please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for the upcoming videos and stay tuned for the second episode of the TCG Pokemon playthrough. And we'll see you soon, maybe next week? Bye!